Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome to Shadowverse, a CCG card game by Cry Games. I'll try to leave a link to this in the description below. And we're gonna start out. It's it's a fun game. I played up to chapter eight of one character, and I realized that hey man, this has got to go on the channel. This is a fun game. Basically. We'll start out on a brand new, like, character page, because, uh, I made it to chapter 8 on one character and I haven't figured out how to reset their storyline yet. I reset the deck with, uh, all the original starting cards, but I haven't figured out how to reset their storyline yet, so I didn't want you to miss that opening cutscene. So, we'll go solo, main story, and it is a multiplayer card game, you can play online against your friends. Uh, however you want. There's lots of deck building cu customizations. It gets updated regularly. It's a really fun game. I, I really like it. Uh, let's see. I'll start off uh, in the storyline and later on uh, if, an, if, if you like it I show you like different the different um, updates for the games, the different little like updates they do where they add more cards and everything. There's a lot of expansion packs that are really fun too. So we'll start out with, uh, let's see, Erica. It's like I can't see the name because of the preview on the face cam, but I know her name's Erica. Uh, she's the knight class leader. This class has cards that summon other followers, such as 1 1 knights. These followers are officers which can be strengthened by commanders. Play them alongside each other to gain an advantage in battle. So this way we'll get to see her opening cutscene. See? Swordcraft, Erica. So let's see, I think I called her Swordcraft or was it Nightcraft? Well, she's the Swordcraft commanders. There's Swordcraft, Shadowcraft, uh, let's see. Was there? There's Dragoncraft, uh, Forestcraft, which is elves and fairies and everything. There's a few of them, so it's really fun. There's plenty of variety for everybody that wants to play. Also, it's free on Steam. This is the first edition of a new playlist that I'll be adding onto the channel called Free on Steam. It's just going to be a playlist um, called Free on Steam, and then there'll be a game in this section, in this section, in this section, and so on and so forth. Each game you see there is going to be free to play, so that's the main attraction for it. Because, I mean, who doesn't love saving money in their wallet? You know, I love more money in my wallet, and so do you. <laughs> but, without further ado, let's get to the first chapter orders. Erica is an attendant unwaveringly loyal to the princess that she serves. <laughs> English. Erica is an attendant, unwaveringly loyal to the princess that she serves. Okay. I can get that. An ominous presence has filled the skies. People know it by one name, the Morning Star. It is a promise of freedom, a glimpse of new worlds, a light reaching into oblivion, a shadow in mortal hearts. When darkness covers the world, the gates of annihilation will open. You yeah. be prepared. Always be prepared. <laughs> the princess has returned. Princess, you're back early. No, oh, that's good. <laughs> Always good to be early. Oh, she's pretty. I like her dress. You're teasing me. Am I? You know how shy I am. I'm sorry about <laughs> that. The to tell the man. truth, it's serious business that brought me back. Serious business. There's reason to believe something happened at Darkstone Castle. Darkstone Castle. I like that name. That's an the epic name. Banishing place? You can't be serious. Damn, I know. Don't be so uh, peeved about it. <laughs> what happened there? Right now, that's She's anybody's ticked. guess. Then we need to act immediately. Exactly. I need you to go to the castle and check on its resident. Uh, she hesitated when she said resident. I get the feeling that it's like some sort of necromancer or skeleton or demon dog or something. I'll start preparing. Resident. I knew I could rely on you. She said. <laughs> I think she said. Oh no! 
What the heck? Those are the main enemies of the game. <laughs> Sorry I didn't warn you about them. Erica, what is that? Uh, shadow demons or whatever they call them? Stand back! I have this covered! Yeah! She's prepared. Like how the... I like the I like how the medieval English looking like I don't know this this is all fantasy you can't say that's English you can't say that's a Japanese samurai sword you who knows what that is who knows who knows she's a combination of so many things nowadays did that say noise upsets the books what kind of library you must is die. that that's an evil library. Okay, so I'm starting off with the very starting original deck for the Swordcraft class. And the first couple of matches are easy peasy. Because I've got 20 life and my opponent only has 5. So I'm going to stomp them into the ground. Alright. Oh, come on. I already know how to do this. Dead it's running the tutorial. Ninja Master has ambush. But then again, the tutorial could be useful for you, so I won't skip it. That means until your ninja master attacks, the opponent can't attack back or target it with abilities. It basically has shroud, but we're calling it ambush. So I don't want to confuse people. Whoa. I live by the sword. I live by the sword. Uh, let's see. Wait, that's it? Whoa. Okay, I think he played like an ability. Ambush. Your opponent played Execution. Ambush prevents Ninja Master from being targeted, so your opponent had to target your fighter instead. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. I mean, not good for me, but it's good to let people know what the game's all about, this starting match. Royal Banner is a commander card that attacks, that boosts the attack of the officer followers. Wow, English, Russell. Royal Banner is a commander card that boosts the attack of officer followers. Use Royal Banner to strengthen your Ninja Master. Now remember, I've played the game before plenty, but I've never played this deck before. Alright. Officer and Commander cards work together to become more powerful. Finish off the enemy leader with your Ninja Master. Oh really? That that quick? Okay. Can you dodge this? Get food on that. Explosion! Victory! Of course I will. What do you think you the get The pleasure was all mine. <laughs> Royal Banner times three. Oh good! I got new Royal Banners. Excellent! Swordcraft is especially good at strengthening followers. Royal Banner is now yours. Add it to the deck and play a, a story match. And I'm not sure whether it'll work out or not, but I see a lot of people do the whole um, unboxing um, stuff like you know they'll unbox their stuff on a, a Crunchyroll or they'll unbox their you know unboxing my new computer unboxing this and I figured you know there's a lot of stuff you can unbox in a card game <laughs> but I wouldn't put anybody through that that'll just be part of the maybe a part of the regular episodes I don't think I'd be putting that as a separate segment segment by itself that'd be part of the regular episode and he's down <laughs> Roar all you want, you're gone anyway. Where did the creature come from? How did he get in? That's the more important question. I don't know. But something is afoot. Or a leg. Or or it's a foot. I have a bad feeling. Please depart as soon as you can. Well, I, I like how they're in grave danger. This thing just teleports in. The knight here just saved your life, yet you tell her to leave. Depart. Get out of here. If more of those creatures were to appear in my absence... See? I called it. I, I called it. If more of those creatures appear in your absence... What are you going to do, princess? Are you going to fight them off? I'll I don't think so. I'll keep guards close by. Between their blades and mine, I'll be safe. Sure you will. Understood. Farewell, princess. Yeah. Later. <laughs> she screwed. She screwed. <laughs> An encounter. New chapter unlocked. I think we'll do this match, uh, see if there's a, at least a little bit of a difficulty jump, and then I'll probably transition it on to the next episode. So, without further ado, let us begin the encounter. 
After repelling the shade, Erica has departed for Darkstone Castle at the princess's orders. By the way, uh, Foster, I'm sorry, this is the name of your sister. <laughs> That's gotta be annoying. Use this deck, default. Well, wait a minute, hold up. No, not, not preview. Exit. Use this. I don't really have any choice, do I? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't make a new deck because I wanted people that are new to the game to see what they can expect in the default deck. You know, it's not any fair to be like, oh, here's a brand new game you can play with all of my advanced cards. Never mind that you're going to get stumped when you show up because you don't have all my cool cards. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not that kind of douche. I tell you what's real, what you really get. This is what you really get. I'll play with the default, and then we'll upgrade it further and further on this looks as dire. we go along. Oh, no guards God. in sight, and the coffin's but, wide open. The coffin? What are you guys holding up, Dracula? You are not permitted here. State your business at once. Oh God, they are holding up Dracula. Urias Formont. <laughs> oh, Urias Formonte. Formont. He's he's like a buff Dracula. Look at this dude. He's like. What are you doing here? State your business. Okay. I am no other. Oh. Oh my. You're awake. Those beasts are under your command. Hmm. Excuse me? Don't play innocent. As an enemy of the crown. I would not piss him off. You must die. Ha! Knew it. He's he's bat. He's bat. He's bat. He's all about bats. I almost called him Batman, but nope. <laughs> Aww, Goblin Leader. Oh, I love those opening cutscenes. Those are some of my favorite parts. Oh, and that's my character I had to you make. You must die! Roland. Prepare for defeat. If I had known this was going to be part of the channel, I'd have called it Rust Robo, but Roland is my uh, character name for Amp Guard, but that's another channel. Another channel for another day. Drag the cards you want to redraw. Uh, these look like pretty good play cards except for this guy. He can only be played on turn four. The turn marker w in which the card can be played is up at the top uh, left hand of the card. Uh, that's its attack power, that's its defense power. There's no swiping to put in attack or defense. When it's attacked, it just loses its defense value until it reaches zero and then the card is destroyed. So, let us redraw him and get a new card fighter good a two a two turn card play so i can play that on the next turn ah there's also accept your fate never there's also evolution in this card game now evolution is where you play a card and it can evolve uh, based on the certain number of turns it can only evolve once but once it does it gets a new um, well, it gets a new background, and it becomes much more powerful, and sometimes new abilities are added to the card as well. So it's definitely a mechanic that you want to learn as much about, and use very sparringly and at the right times. I've won some very close matches using that ability. So, since I can't play anything from my hand until turn two, we're going to go ahead and end our turn. I act at my heart's command. I promised I wouldn't do this, but I'm an addict. I'm sorry. Unbridled. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, show me the whole hand, please. What? What? Show me the hand. Show me the money. No, show me the hand. Bring the hand up. Has it been that long? What is this? Opponent's turn. Four four natural. Swordcraft deals X damage to enemy follower cards equal number. Deals X damage to an enemy follower. X equals the number of allied followers in play. Well, there aren't any of those, so we're gonna play this guy. I live by the sword. Oh, that is bringing your hand up. Huh. <laughs> Maybe I need to take it out of full screen mode. Because I can barely see the edge of those. It, barely see the edge of those. I guess I'm playing by ear now. Huh. <laughs> well, I'll take it out of full screen mode after I 
finish this episode, unfortunately. Wait, that's it? Oh, he's more powerful than me. That sucks. Still learning, by the way. Well, uh, there is a way to see them because they're off the edge of the screen. I'll pick them up a little bit like this. And that's what it looks like. It doesn't have any attack or uh, defense, so it's just an ability card. And I can at least read the ability there, X damage, but I don't have any followers in play. And I can't play any of these cards because that's turn 4, 5, 4, and 5, so... Dang, I gotta end my turn. I'm gonna get hit for 3. It says it's mine! You no. it! 17. Why you got to be such a douche? Why you douche the douche things? Douche. Now it's turn four, I can at least play the White General, 3-3. Three, three. Let's see now, Whoa. okay. Let's see, he can, he can attack her and defeat her, but she'll defeat him and... He can beat either one of them, but he'll lose his life in exchange. So, I just, I'm probably gonna take four this turn. She's gonna smack me with a three and then attack with the four. The order will remain. Or he is. Ah, oh, blasted. No! Angelic Sword Maiden would be good. 2-6. Uh, that'd be good for defense. Ninja Master, 4-4. Four, four. Hmm. White General. I could deal X damage if I could put out a bunch of cards really fast. It's turn 5. So let's get her for defense and then start accumulating cards as quickly as possible and then when we get a lot of allies out we can use unbridled fury which will deal X damage based on the number of allies and since we'll have a lot of them it'll deal more damage what is give plus two plus two to an allied follower okay that's good so let's play her Light upon the land. all right extraordinary yeah that's darn right it is and also, when you play uh, your cards, whatever they may be, you use the turn counter. The turn counter doesn't reset, but you use the points from it for each turn. And then each turn, it resets and you get that many points back again. I live by the sword! He lives by the sword. Gosh. Ah, she, he's accumulating a lot of creatures really fast. Which is exactly victory. what I want to do. I don't want to lose the match. I like it's like it's terrible. Hey everybody, here's how to play this card game as I as I lose. Ugh, I gotta get out as many as possible. Can he four four? They're all just gonna get eaten. I can evolve it, or I can use Unbridled Fury, which will deal. X damage to the enemy follower. Number of allied followers in play. Okay, so... Enemy follower... Oh, man. I'm not ready to use him yet. I can evolve him, though. His evolved state gives him 5-6. But he doesn't get any new abilities. I'm gonna save it. Since my opponent has two and he hasn't used any of them yet. Oh, gosh. Also... I know it's not called Summoning Sickness on this game, that's Magic Thing. Whoa, I, I'm gonna lose, ain't I? An exemplary battle. Okay, well that's how you lose. No! Are you serious? Play, play other leaders' stories too. Well, I ain't gonna get sore about it. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna win next time. That sucks, man. How? How did he, he just accumulated too many creatures too fast? I can sense the dislikes coming already. God, that sucks. Maybe if I had evolved that um, giant there, I would have won. But he—he he, he didn't have. Uh, there's an ability, I think it's called Taunt or something. Um, it's an ability where once they have that, it forces followers under your enemy to attack that follower that you have instead of you. And he was just attacking straight past my follower, straight to me, so I didn't realize how much damage I was uh, taking. 
and I lost. <laughs> Ugh. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's Shadowverse. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there'll be more episodes in the coming future and more episodes with me winning next time. So if you want to check it out, it's free on Steam. I'll leave a link, link in the strip, uh, description. English is hard, apparently. I appreciate everybody for joining me. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.